All right, so it's been about a day since we placed this pronghorn antelope lower jaw into the beetle tank, and I just wanted to follow up on the progress. And this tank's got about 1,500 beetles in it, and it probably took them, you know, wow, just overnight, um, maybe 14 to 16 hours. Uh, to remove, completely remove all the meat, flesh, tissue, and cartilage and expose the bone on this jaw. Let's just take a closer look here. And you can see right around near the teeth where the beetles will get in there and they'll remove all that uh, cartilage and uh, tissue around the teeth. They've cleaned the bone pretty good. Uh, I see a few strands of, uh, of uh, meat or tissue on the bone and they'll, they'll clean that up pretty good. I've taken the jaw out uh, once and just misted the bone itself lightly. Um, you know sometimes if it gets a little dry they'll leave a few spots of uh, tissue or meat here and there and I just uh, will take the jaw out or the bone out or the skull and I'll mist it just a little bit place it back in the tank and then they'll finish that spot off but you can see how these beetles will get into I don't know if you can see them crawling around down there in the openings of this jaw but they'll crawl around and get inside the openings of the jaw. Get down in there and they'll eat all the tissue or remove all the tissue uh, that's inside the jaw or inside the bone as well. Uh, they'll remove that quite well. Um, what we can do from this point, basically the bone's really clean. You can see it's a little pink and uh, it may look slightly uh, stained from the blood and the meat. And once we begin the uh, degreasing process, that will remove all the remaining oils, fats, and uh, even some of the blood that's uh, kind of dried up and, and on the bone. Um, I uh, use a degreasing method that uh, is probably about, you know, some guys use uh, Dawn dishwashing detergent and, and uh, degreasing solvents and some guys even use caustics. Uh, I don't like to use the caustics. Um, I like to use a, uh, a detergent. Um, it's a commercial grade detergent that I use. It's probably uh, 10 to 15 times stronger than uh, a standard um, liquid dishwashing detergent but I'll place the uh, bone or skull in the uh, degreasing um, solution and let the bone set and uh, remove some of the fats and oils and that could take a week it could take three weeks uh, it could take a little longer on some of the uh, the uh, jaws and bones and skulls of uh, animals that are notorious for uh, just being uh, greasy and fatty, uh, like hogs, for instance. Um, but this skull, or this jawbone, uh, looks pretty clean. So, next step, degreasing. And then after it's degreased, uh, then we'll move on to the whitening process. And I use a peroxide whitener. Uh, just to finish it up and give it a clean uh, museum quality uh, finish uh, that removes a lot of the stains and, and the yellowing but uh, again we'll go from there next step degreasing <laughs> 